Hi, it's Dave Wilbur. I'm going to show you um, with App Inventor how to kind of get your app up to be scanned and downloaded by people. So you can't put App Inventor apps on the market right yet, um, but you can put barcodes up that people can scan. Now the simplest way is click on Package for Phone and say Show Barcode. Uh, the problem with that one is the barcode um, can be scanned, but the download will only work if the, the person scanning it has an App Inventor account. And right now, App Inventor, you have to wait for an invite. So that's not, that's not the best solution. So there's a workaround. And what you do is you go ahead and you download an app to the computer. So package your phone, download to computer. And this is downloading a Android Where's Your Car app that uh, you know, basically lets you find your car. You can record a place where your car's parked and then find it find it later. So it's going to download to my computer. And then what I'll show you is how to get that thing onto the web in the cloud and then how to generate a barcode so someone can download it by scanning um, with their phone. So they're uh, just packaged it. So I'm going to say, OK, save that file. It'll save it to my, to my downloads. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I've got this Google Sites page. So appinventor.org is my site, but it's really a Google Sites page underneath that domain. And with Google Sites, um, you know, you can uh, keep attachments. You can also edit pages. I gotta sign into this page. Um, so this will get me as a as a um, Google Sites user. So here's my page. I could edit the page if I wanted, but what I want to do is just add an attachment. So I'm going to browse, go to downloads, and I'm going to go get that file I just downloaded. So where's my car? 7.apk. Say open. And that will bring that APK file, so which is an Android you know, executable, is now up on my Google Sites page. And all I need to do is grab that link right here, the download link, and say copy link location. Okay, so this is on the web. Google Sites makes it easy to get something on the web. I can grab the link to the APK file, and then what I need to do is get that link into a barcode. Okay, and I just come to barcodesinc.com generator slash QR for the QR code generator, and I just put my URL that I just copied in there. And I don't actually don't need this parameter here. It won't hurt, but I'm going to take that off. So this URL is what I want and I just click on create QR code and there it is. Uh, so now this barcode could be scanned onto my phone and uh, and downloaded. So in fact right now I'm I'm gonna scan it with my phone and it will just download directly. So on my phone I use the barcode scanner and just point it up to that thing and there you probably just heard it just uh, download so I just download the app now if you want you can grab this barcode off of here I use on the on a Mac shift command 4 and I just copy that baby and it sticks a picture on my desktop so if I wanted to I could go back to a Google Sites page click on edit and then say insert image go to my desktop and just grab that picture that I just created and stick it on my page and now I've got a barcode on my web page that can be scanned by someone to to get my app into to app inventory or sorry get it onto their phone to, to actually use it uh, anyway that's that's how you can build a barcode that doesn't require any user account on app inventor for for your for your customers to uh, download your app. Uh, thanks a lot.